Today I'd like to look at the Buchla 256E quad voltage processor and take a few uh, cycling envelopes from the 281E and process them into the 292E. Right now I have the 261E coming out and going into the A section of the 292 and the A section is then further going out to the 206E mixer. You can hear that. Now, with the top A section of the 281E in cycle mode, it has a pretty quick uh, repeating envelope going out there. We can hear that. But sometimes you'll, I would like to be able to shape that even further. So if I come over here to the 256 and pop it in there, and then take that output, and go back into it, I'm going to get the same thing because we are in pass-through mode. But now, by using breakpoints, I can change the shape of that. And now, cycling the B section of the 281E to a different pulse and taking that out and going into the A2 of the 256E, I can fade between the A section and the B section with the pot. And furthermore, to get more interest, I can take the pulse out of the A section of the 281E, go into pulse in of the C section, have it in transient mode, that little triangle, and uh, change. I'm going to just put this all the way to the left so it's a fast attack and a fairly fast decay. It's probably not going to do much to this, but if I take this out of the C section and go into the middle, uh, select, then we get some interesting possibilities. That's just the A1. And then as I change this, we bl have different blending modes. There we go. And of course I can use the fourth uh, quad function generator to pan that sound, going into pan of the 206. And one last thing for the voltage processor, 256E. I can take this envelope now, coming out of the C section, go to a1 of the B voltage processor, and you'll notice it is in inversion mode. So invert it and put it to timbre of our original oscillator.